reading papaya to your chickens has a lot of uh, benefits because papaya is nutritious fruit that chickens can enjoy in moderation. You understand? So when you think of feeding papaya to your chickens, don't overfeed it to your chickens. Because if you if you feed too much of the papaya to your chickens, uh, this uh, uh, will cause some of the problems. Because you understand, uh, chickens. Uh, I, mean, I mean, papaya has a lot of sugar that do, that is not good to be fed to, to chickens so often. So. And uh, however, papaya should be ripe, and it should enable. Uh, it should be ripe, and it should be have uh, syrup and decoction. Because uh, if it's not so ripe or it's not ready to be eaten, it has what you call the other syrup that is not good for chicken and digestion. So there, there are some benefits of feeding papaya to your chickens. Of course, uh, we have like it boosts immune system. Take this note so clearly. And it also improves uh, egg production and egg quality. You understand? Because when you are feeding papaya fruit to your chickens, uh, the eggs will come when they are really yellow in color. And again, because uh, you understand the yellow color of the eggs are really liked by many uh, uh, by many consumers in the market. So they'll be willing to give you much more money than how than the money you would make in. A white shell I mean in white yolk eggs so uh, it also aids in digestion so if your chicken have uh, problems with the indigestion you can supplement them with papaya to also help them in digesting their uh, food easily and it also have some other essential vitamins and minerals of course that to help in the chicken uh, in the chicken is uh, healthy so uh, again uh, it has some other uh, natural oxidants uh, that will uh, that will help in inflammation. You know, chickens are uh, you uh, are fond of all they are. They have many cases of inflammation. So, if you have this problem of inflammation, uh, supplement your chickens with papaya. They will, it it will cause because it has some that component of oxidant. It will also help that. So, papaya has also an oxidative agent. That, re that help on stress levels of the chickens. So, if your chickens are so much stressed and you supplement them with papaya, they are willing or they will reduce on their stress and this will be uh, a plus to you, of course, because uh, your chickens will be happy and they'll give you more production than how you could think they are. So, however, you should remove the seeds of papaya. The, se the seeds of papaya should not be fed to chickens. Of course, if uh, I, have se I have heard uh, and seen a lot of blogs that say that uh, seeds of papaya help in uh, in warm uh, or in warming chickens. So, but I, I haven't done a good research on this. I'm not so sure. I cannot assure you that uh, seeds of papaya are good for warming. What you have to do is when what I really tell you me what I'm sure of. You have to remove the seeds of papaya when you're feeding to chickens because. Uh, if you feed too much of the seeds to chickens, to papaya seeds to chickens, you will have some complications. So it's good idea that uh, you first remove the, the seeds before uh, you you feed papaya seeds to your chickens. And you should also remove the skin because the skin also have some of the uh, poison or some of the agents which are not good for the chicken digestion. So what you should be fed to the chickens is the, the other ripe side of papaya. So if you try feeding it, if you try feeding uh, papaya, uh, I mean the seeds or the skin, the outer skin, uh, that will cause some complication in your chickens and you start complaining that papaya is not working. So it's good that you use uh, the papaya but the other one, the ripe one, which is the, mid the middle, the what we call the uh, from outermost uh, rear and uh, then in the seeds. Then the, the that in between uh, rare is the one that is supposed to be fed to the chickens. So uh, uh, when uh, so when uh, papaya uh, when you want to feed to the papaya to your chickens, of course there are many options. Uh, according to the proverb, there is a proverb that says that uh, there are many ways of killing a dog than hanging it. You know. So uh, there are also many ways of feeding papaya to your chickens than uh, maybe than the way you think. You understand? So if you want, you can just uh, cut it into two. Uh, the, uh, you can dissect it into two uh, equal parts. Then remove the seeds and then put it down. 
if your chickens are in the backyard river or, or they are free ranging, they are able to enjoy that papaya and you not have any other complications uh, in feeding. Uh, you understand? But when you know that, uh, when you understand that maybe your chickens are in uh, enclosed, right? The way you see mine here. Mine here are enclosed, you know? So when we, these chickens cannot be supplemented by papaya and then I come and put here in the chicken house. You understand? The chicken, the chicken house will be damp and it will not be good for my chickens. So, so what you have to do is, there you have to slice it into small, small, small pieces which a chicken can either pick and swallow without any other complication. Then you can come and present it before the chickens. The chickens will do their job. So of course enjoy it. So when you also see that that is also uh, very hard to do, when maybe you have a blender at your home, you can also still put it in the blender, then you blend it. After blending it, uh, you get like uh, a liquid form of papaya. Then that liquid form, you can either put it, you can also put it in the drinking water. It will be fine for your chickens who uh, still enjoy the water that have that, that papaya. So the corporates of the papaya you can feed to your chickens, there is a fruit, which you have to remove seeds and the outermost layer. Then you can also feed papaya ribs, where you will first wash them. Of course, you, uh, even fruits must first be washed because there are some of the bacteria and viruses on outermost skin, which may cause some of the complications in your chicken. So you wash the. If you want to feed the ribs, you wash the ribs of course first, and then rib uh, and then either put it in the blender and blend it. Where you after bringing the after blending the uh, blending it, uh, of course you add some little water. Then you get a liquidy form of uh, papaya ribs. Then you can supplement them in the drinking water. When you doesn't want to use uh, the that blender, or when you doesn't have that blender, but you still want to use papaya ribs to feed your chickens, what you do is you will get uh, you will get that those papaya ribs. Then wash them well. After washing them well you will put them uh, in the shed. Because if you brush and dry them, some of the, uh, you understand, some of the minerals and uh, vitamins will get a roast to the sunshine. Because some of the, them are still sensitive to the heat and, di and direct heat, sunshine. So what you have to do is, you will put them under the shed. You then leave them under the shed. After like a week, they will have dried. After drying it, then you smash them into a powder. After getting powder, that powder will not be added to a drinking water. That powder will be added to the feeds. So I recommend you will be using 10 grams per 10 kgs of feeds. So meaning that when you have 100 kgs, you will only use one. When you have a 100 kgs and you want to supplement with powder, I mean with the, the papaya powder, you will put, uh, uh, you can get uh, 10, 10 grams times, you can get 10, 10 grams times 100. Then you get one kg. So in 100 kgs, you just put one kg of papaya ribs powder. So you understand there, there it will work for well as a way you could think. I hope this information was so helpful to you. And catching, um, I will catch you out soon with another episode. I believe in you. You can also do any, whatever you want to do. As long as you are subscribed to this YouTube channel, you will get all the facts about poultry farming. So you're welcome. And do not forget to share it with a friend so that you can also get this informative video the way you have got it. Thank you so much. Catch you out with another episode.